Hey, how's it going? Um, I know things might look a little bit weird right now, but I swear it will all make sense. Before the video, a quick thank you to today's video sponsor and my personal browser of choice, Opera GX. You're watching a video about video games, so you're probably already in the know, but Opera GX is the gamer's browser of choice, boasting cool features like GX Control, where you can set limits to how much CPU or RAM your browser takes up, unlike other resource hogs that make spawning 10,000 cheese wheels much more difficult. You can also have all my newest videos on your homepage if you use my personal download link below. That way, all of my recent uploads can't leave your browser homepage. I'm really proud of that line. I think my favorite feature though is the cool sidebar tab you can set up to have easy access to different social media, messengers, music. Look, I'm coming through the Payday 2 soundtrack right now hoping to find a good sound for this video. They also recently added TikTok support for this panel so you can watch plenty of Subway Surfers gameplay while grinding out your enchanting skill. If you'd like to help support the channel and join the browser revolution that is Opera GX, I'll have a personal download link below in the description that you can use. Thank you for supporting the channel and once again, Thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. No! Screw you, Hadvar. I'm a handyman. I'll build my own sword and armor. That's the crux of today's challenge, a survival permadeath run in which all armor and weapons used by the player need to be crafted. This among many other rules that we'll get into. What are the origins of Iron Man? Where does the term Iron Man come from? Well, it's easier to describe if I start by explaining RuneScape, the online ADHD medication where you spend a lot of your time hitting rocks, chopping trees, stockpiling a disgusting array of items, and watching numbers get bigger. As you play RuneScape more, you have you, this nerd loser, you add in a lot of ore, a lot of logs, and a fuckload of time, and eventually it equals still you, but slightly more drip, and possibly more sex. Now that's just the basics of RuneScape's gameplay loop. An Iron Man run, or more specifically an ultimate Iron Man run, limits the player throughout this adventure by removing the ability to trade with others or use a personal player bank for storage. You're stuck utilizing the items in your immediate vicinity to progress, so it requires a good understanding of the game. If we took this same philosophy and applied it to Skyrim, how much differently would our experience within the game's sandbox be? What new problems might we run into? No trading with other players in RuneScape? No vendors in Skyrim, so good luck getting all the materials you'll need to grind smithing XP. That also means your only way for making cash is via looting it in the open world or as a quest reward. Speaking of loot in the open world, no weapon or armor loot. Everything else is fair game, but any equipable items dropped by enemies or found in dungeons? Off the board. You'll have to fight back the standard compulsion towards hoarding that these games employ. So a single life Skyrim survival run on expert difficulty in which all weapons need to be crafted manually, all materials need to be collected manually, and one in which the player is forced to manage their inventory, plan routes, and make smart choices in general, like an Iron Man. Three lives are on the board, and just to keep it in theme with RuneScape, our final goals today will be to A. Reach a smithing level of 50 and build ourselves a sweet set of gear. B. Raise 5,000 gold and begin construction on our very own house to be proud of. This is the Skyrim Ultimate Iron Man Challenge, and it kicked my fucking ass. Oh my god! I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that! I, you've got to be kidding me. No, seriously, scoff all you want at expert difficulty rather than master or legendary, but unless you know the exact location of every single item that will help you out, you're going to get your shit pushed in. I've been through this intro so many times. It's almost hard to have fun going through this intro again. Did I see you talking to Sven? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. You know he's right there, right? All right, Hadvar said you could help me out. Alvor, I need a good start here. How do you know him? How does my son Hadvar know this naked orc? He helped me escape from prison. <laughs> that doesn't sound like my nephew at all. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Gotta love Alvor. No issues employing newly escaped fugitives. You'll do a quick crafting tutorial here, but it's free and zero risk. So we got our start. We got a helmet. We got a dagger. I'm ready to take on the world. All right, Rocky, listen to me. Get in position. We need to fill the entire hallway. Create as much collision as possible. There are two bandits who are going to come running at you full speed. I need you all to do the best you can to stay in their way. You got me? All right, Rocky, they're on the way. Just like I said, two bandits. Are you in position? That's one thing we want to keep an eye out for our gems. If we find gems, we're able to make really valuable jewelry, and jewelry is a good way for us to get our smithing level up. Now, 
okay. <laughs> it's so easy. Idiot. I doubt you're surprised, but the first area you'll want to focus on right after the intro is Riverwood and the surrounding area. It's like the Lumbridge of Skyrim. Plenty of iron nodes around town to get a jump start on smithing, of course the small cave we just cleared out has more, lots of wildlife begging to be skinned and turned into your first set of leather armor, and three crucial potion base ingredients that you'll need. Red mountain flowers for magicka potions, purple for stamina, and blue for health. You're going to want to collect them all and be really thorough before leaving this area and heading north towards Whiterun. And hold on. No, no, there's no way those miss. I want a replay review. All right, hand over your valuables. Yeah, seriously, do I look like I have cash? Yes, actually. Are you kidding me? I just cleared out an entire bandit cave using rocks. Then I guess. <gasps> what the hell was that? Like I said, they aren't messing around. One hit and I'm near half health. Luckily, as an orc, I have the berserk ability, which is pretty overpowered. The surrounding land of Whiterun will offer you plenty of opportunity to keep progressing. It's important in this phase though that you remain patient and take what the game will offer you. Permadeath means even the slightest oversight and preparation can wipe out the last several hours and completely ruin your entire day. We don't want that, do we? There you go. This is my good guy arc. I'm finally gonna be a good person. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. I could adopt. Nope, 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 nope. We're not doing the orphan thing again. We already did the orphan thing. No more of that. Let you recover, recover, and power attack. What do we have? We have three bandits. We have eight potions of health. We've got stamina. We've got skooma. Both go oh god, what was that? It's a horse. It's just a horse. It's just it's only a horse. It's just an equine. We're all good. God damn it. Did I really just get jump scared by a, a steed? We'll keep our distance. One at a time. Two healing potions. It keeps me alive. I still have five left. Take some drugs. Give me the skooma. Switch to healing and push. Hitting the ore. Hitting the ore. Trust me, it ain't no bore. I'm gonna give it to you straight. This second phase, we'll call it the white run phase, is chock full of a ton of grinding. Leave town, get some ore, kill a bandit, run away from a stronger bandit. Rodolph, that you? No, I don't wanna do this. I don't, I really don't. I wanted to help you out. I like you. Okay, 3v1, this is tough. Let's just make sure we at least throw on resist magic because we got a mage right in front of us. This one's about to die in the middle. There's no fucking way this guy lands a single hit on me. Not because of any of his current afflictions, but also because of his current afflictions. There's no way! There's no way that- Ah! He's a super soldier! Back off! Okay, let's talk it out. Let's be friends. Damn, where'd you go? <laughs> See, he lost us already. Don't worry, I found his weakness. A book. Okay, time to quit screwing around. Run back to town and get some rest. Are you joking? You just rented a room. Okay, you don't have to be mean, all right? Sometimes I forget. I got a lot going on here, Holda. What, Sadia? Huh? I know what you're doing here. I know who you are. Get off, get off the, get off the, let me, my turn. Mom said it's my turn on the cooking spit. Rinse and repeat, because in your current state, you're still really squishy, and while you'll only get faster the more you do this, starting over sucks way more than taking your time and a little bit of monotony. So while I'd love to detail every tiny little aspect of this challenge, I'm probably going to skip quite a lot. I have a second channel for that exact reason if that's what you fancy, but for today I'd like to stick to the important things. Halted Stream Camp. I've shown a few clips of it, but it's the most important early location because it has roughly 60 iron ore inside of it to collect. Because we can't buy any spells, it's important you grab the Transmute Spellbook while here as well so you can turn iron into silver, silver into gold, and gold into expensive jewelry for extra smithing XP. However, while XP is nice, your main focus during the White Run phase should actually be on crafting yourself a steel tier set of gear, which requires corundum ore. It's spark but it's around white run and it'll get you your first ranged weapon so you can more effectively and entertainingly reduce the elk population around town. That was a good shot. 
Uh, <laughs> man, I love not being a stealth archer. But more importantly, it just makes you stronger, improves your survivability, and keeps you in the fight just a bit longer. It also gives this challenge that runescape feel of building your next tier of armor. However, on this run, I skipped this part. I started feeling confident, so I cleared Bleakfall's Barrow, took out the dragon, and obtained my first legitimate enchanted item per the Iron Man rule set. When given a quest reward, enchanted items may be disenchanted. That's it. You're not allowed to wield it. I found that this rule, alongside our limited gold collection methods, made completing quests really rewarding. There's a bit more of a hell yeah factor when quest completion is your only means of obtaining any enchantments or bulk amounts of gold. I think this was my favorite amendment to the rules we made during the live stream simply because my motivation for actually completing quests instead of wandering around aimlessly started to skyrocket. After around 4-5 to five hours grinding alchemy, smithing, sniping deer and whatnot around Whiterun, I decided to take my journey to Falkreath. This is of course what we're this is of course where we'll event- that's hard to say. This is of course where we'll eventually need to spend 5,000 gold and build our house, but there's also a spike in difficulty in this area. If Whiterun is mostly tier 1 with the occasional tier 2 enemy, Falkreath sees a higher concentration of tier 2 enemies like bears, spriggans, and banded outlaws. I felt confident that my skill could make up for any shortfall in my gear or preparation, so west I headed to the perpetually overcast hold of Falkreath. Where are you headed off to? Hmm? Probably to foil my plans. We lost our home, our livestock. We barely have enough gold to get by. Yeah, uh, I have to buy my own property and build my house from scratch, so... Wait, good guy, Ark. Hold on. But financially responsible arc. I gave one gold to the little girl in Whiterun, okay? And then immediately she's like, will you be my daddy? What? What? It was one gold. What's this guy gonna say? I gave him five gold. What's his request? Will you be my new brother? Can, can, <laughs> can you adopt us? Rise, rise from the ashes, Mr. Rabbit, and follow my command. Smell that fresh air? Truly, this is a good place to play a song. Yeah, let's do it. Let's have him play a song for us. Until next time. Wait, don't you leave. I'm thinking. Wait, no, do I have to pay 25 gold again? Oh my god, I've been robbed. You'll know, you'll know the dragonborns come. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so immature. I'm so goddamn immature. You'll know, you'll know the dragonborns come. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. It's not funny. Dead Stormcloak? Thalmor? Not really a fight I want to get involved in right now. Walk away. No. Easy, easy. Hey, humble traveler here. Walk away. No. You walk. I'm in the process of walking away. You walked towards me and then threatened me to walk away again. You got to be kidding me. Half health. Let's go berserker rage. Otherwise, we're not getting out of this fight. I'm almost out of health potions. That's why I can't get too cocky. That's why we have to take it a bit slow. And there's a Spriggan? Okay, we need to be really careful over here. Are you Lydia? You kind of look like Lydia from behind. Maybe it's the blurred vision. Lydia, is that you? There's been word of some trouble nearby. Whose horse are you? You're completely frozen. Ah! Sorry, Mr. Horse. Com Wait, why are you attacking the horse? Ooh, ooh. Oh, whoa, that was close. Okay, they're both bandit chiefs. They're gonna be really high level. If we can isolate them one on one. No stumble. How am I missing the stumble every time? Where are we at with health potions? I am completely out of health potions. This is not a fight that I can win. We got to bail. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I love when my enemies try to kill each other. No damage. Beautiful. That's what I'm afraid of. The bandit chief always, always, always gets a bullshit one hit execution. Your kind has no place here. Again, rude. Wait, hold on. I want to listen to this guy's little speech. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You were giving a really entertaining speech, but actually, I appreciate your help. Let's all gang up on this guy. It's a milk drinker like you doing out here. You know what? I don't have any health potions. I'm afraid. Sorry, I'll be leaving now. That's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I did was show up here. I just wanted to say hi to people. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? Please no, no, I'm not. Actually, can I stare at your disgusting face a few more seconds? Hold on. Wait, hold. No, don't back away. Hold. I'm still looking. 
Huh? I'm still looking. Stop walking away from me while I make fun of you. It's important to have some fun while you venture about, even if the challenge you're trying feels like a full-time job. W wait, hold on, this is my full-time job. Shit, okay, um, th I should definitely step it up then and look for tougher fights. Prove my worth, you know? You're mine. No, I'm not welcome here. Damn it, I thought we were cool. They're all orcs. Wait, I'm one, I'm one of you. Oh, you're all fucked. You gotta be kidding me! That's it, it's over? Just like that, Run is dead. I didn't really touch much on combat details for this run because again, there's a lot going on in this challenge, but just to spice things up, I'm going with a high and tight stamina based melee build using power attacks to press my enemies and keep them off balance with offensive magic to keep my distance and control crowds, supplementing any loss in my big three bars down here with potions made along the way. We used more than enough archery in our Soulstime video, so I figured I'd put that on the back seat. The problem this causes is some enemies like to cheese their way to victory, and by some enemies I specifically mean any tier 2 bandits, that's outlaws, thugs, chiefs, etc. using a two-handed weapon. These weapons smack hard enough that in one hit you will end up in the kill zone. I don't know exactly, but it feels like so long as your health is hovering around, let's say, 50% and these dudes start their follow-up attack, that's it. Game over. Try again, nerd. I mean, look at how quick this happened. Let's watch in slow-mo, alright? So contact with me, I take damage, and boom! 0.266 seconds. I was just a hair late opening my quick menu to heal up and avoid this. To put it into baseball terms... Boy. Come on. Fun fact, uh, it takes almost twice as much time for a 100 mile per hour fastball to reach home plate, so when you think about it, my Skyrim gameplay is just as impressive, if not more so, than all of these home runs. Now, I've gotten a few comments on the stream and on my second channel that I should mob this out, that it's a cheap tactic and I shouldn't be punished by the game's dumb rule set. I disagree. See, I knew going in that two-handed bandits were an issue. I knew that they would assuredly end my run at some point. I was aware that this enemy specifically was clearly not taking much damage from me and would likely hit pretty hard in return. It's my job to recognize those things and react quickly in the moment. By all metrics, in my opinion, this is a skill issue, and let's be real, it's not really a fun permadeath run if there isn't a real possibility of losing. I made a mistake, I died, it is what it is, but it wouldn't really be a runescape challenge if I wasn't mining the same ore veins over and over again, right? <sighs> and I want—I wanted to do this on first try. Now I'm—I'm I'm really. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. That's okay. We go again. We go again, and we don't think about it. Let's do it. Come on. We can't be down. We, I, I can't get—I can't get too down. Dies a lot. <laughs> Dies from bullshit. We're gonna be way more efficient on this run. We're gonna go for Corundum Ore almost immediately. There's almost nothing more demoralizing in all of sports than striking out and walking back to your dugout, especially if it was a bad strikeout and a terrible at bat and you feel like an idiot because you just got made to look like a fool in front of all your teammates, the other team, everyone watching. But it's a sport where you can't let things like that get you down. Keep your head up, keep going. It fucking sucks, but it's part of the game. You're gonna strike out, you're gonna die, you're gonna lose the run, the ump's gonna make a bad call, you'll get executed, you'll get the bullshit animation. That's life. Does we Sports count? 100%, yeah, we Sports does count. What the hell are you? God! Vacation is where the head is. I don't care! Away with you! Ow. I think there's a spell in here. Wow, lesser reward? Really? I forgot potato soup was that good. Someone to my left, right around this corner. No, maybe not. 
Uh oh, he saw us. That's your best. All right, I got nervous. Power attack from a hammer. I fucking love using the environment to vanquish my foes. I want to ragdoll them in unique ways. Watch their bodies flail as they step on something silly and goofy like a banana peel. That's what we're gonna call it, okay? In the Skyrim mythos or in the Skyrim community, this should be referred to as a banana peel. Like we just banana peeled this enemy. Oh, look at this bandit. They just got banana peeled. Let's set up an aggressive banana peel. Thank you, kind sir. Do 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 do. And then we just Tom and Jerry our way down the hallway. Make sure to stand right here so their pathing forces them. Bink, bink, bink. Later. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Get out of the way, Mr. Skeever. You're not invited to this party. Welcome to the new game show of the tower. Our first contestant is up. It is a bandit outlaw, tier two bandit. He comes through the middle lane. Oh, oh, he steps on another one. Damage. Are his teammates flanking? We're not quite sure, but we're gonna activate the bear traps one more time. Send him through the ringer. And, oh, his teammate can't get through it either. Everyone is stepping on the bear traps. What are you doing that for? Don't, Agnes, please, don't worry yourself with nonsense like, what am I doing that for? And why is the deadly bear trap inside of my bedroom? Ah, oh, she's kind of powerful. Okay, yeah, she does good damage. Ooh. Oh, she ran away. <laughs> come on, Agnes. Don't you want to play the game? If you don't want to play the game, then the game will come to you. Oh, this just... Hold on, it missed. Oh, 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 me? Well, you didn't want to partake in my game. I find that very rude. Gotcha. Haha. <laughs> you have fallen for my schemes, Agnes. Stop. Oh, you're starting to get on my nerves. Damn it, how does she keep avoiding it? She must be immune to banana peeling. Please, <laughs> oh, Agnes. Rest in peace. Maybe my musical montage didn't do it justice, but Dies From Bullshit is moving at a blistering pace compared to our first attempt. I started to have a pretty good catalog in my mind of where to find what items to progress at a decent speed. I'm stockpiling items for future crafting recipes in the steel tier, which will come with its own issues later, sniping deer, and I'm moving through the various bandit camps in the white run phase while having a pretty good time doing so. I cleared all the iron ore from Halted Stream Camp, made way more alchemy progress than before by finding a recipe better suited for XP, and I felt generally awesome about the direction this was heading. I even got started boosting my smithing XP with some jewelry crafting. I've now spent about nine hours in total boxed into this same section of the map. Fitting for this channel, I know, but at this point I can feel the map. I know this area like the back of my hand. I get it. You're sitting there watching my channel once again in the desired setting, a big TV, Adobe, 3D sound system, etc. And you're thinking, dude, can we please move on from the white run phase? You know, when I was in high school, my father forced me to take Latin. I almost failed Latin too, shout out to anybody who knows the Ecce Romani books, and there was a phrase our teacher drilled into our heads. Repetitio et mater et filiorum. Repetition is the mother of my study. Although according to Google Translate, this isn't even fucking close. Well, I wanted to drive home the point that this challenge can be repetitive but repetition is the mother of my study. Also, we're mostly going to be skipping this phase on the third attempt because- No! Oh my God! I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that. I, you've gotta be kidding me. I cannot believe I did it again. I cannot fucking believe it happened again. Oh my God. It's just the worst. It's just the absolute worst. Once again, the two-handed demon ends my run, and now a collective 10 plus hours of running around this same portion of the map has been thrown into the trash. I had had enough, and over the next 24 hours, using the information I had collected during my time attempting this challenge and some research online, I put together a cohesive game plan to ensure my victory. If you watched my recent Solstheim video, you probably saw the tragic death of our friend Bear Grylls, so we're bringing her back for a chance at redemption, and because I really want to lean on Berserker Rage when the going gets tough. So out I set once again, efficiently catching up with the progress of our first attempt in about half the time, even achieving steel tier gear, finishing the first main quest, and instead of heading west towards Falkreath, I went with a different plan. They're kinda hard to get. Oh, Jesus, now 
enough the rapids they're hard to fight Ugh. <laughs> i'm struggling now this is the hardest boss fight i've ever encountered no i'm not floundering in the rapids like oversized t-shirt boy at the public pool just for fun i'm looking for salmon row skyrim's incredibly overpowered caviar that can only be acquired by catching these salmon as they fly through the air god this is the most input intensive skyrim gameplay i've ever had spacebar s w reverse i mean i slapped in the face with white caps Okay, I'm gonna catch this one right there. Got him. Okay, and there's one that's gonna land right here. Got him. But this one is jumping right in the middle of the water. Got him. No, I missed. How? This is a nightmare. I could barely hold a fish as a kid, and now I'm getting hit in the face repeatedly with them. We aren't chasing anything right now other than the extra alchemy XP. The higher our level, the better our potions, the less we have to make. Garlic, Nordic Barnacle, Salmon Row. Of the three ingredients, garlic is a bit tougher to find in the open world, but even if you only have Nordic Barnacles, it's still going to yield a crap ton of XP. Nordic Barnacle, nice. Exactly what we need. Don't give me three and call it a nice. That's what I'm boom, that's what I'm bang, that's what I'm boom, that's what I'm oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Stop, my heart, my heart, I can't handle more. It feels a little exploity, but honestly, this should probably be the first thing you do because then all of your potions are gonna be so much more viable throughout the entire run. You can find all these barnacles on the sunken ship in Lake Illinalta. Truly, I don't know how you can say no to this. Here's where this run really starts to deviate from our first failed attempt. Rather than pushing west towards Falkreath, I'm going to move east towards Riften, collecting as much ore as possible while I save up for my eventual goal of the pristine and sexy Nordic carved armor. A full set will cost me 21 steel, 5 quicksilver, and 4 ebony. I'd like to upgrade them as well, so make that 9 quicksilver. The main issue this might cause is you'll start to get weighed down by all the ingredients, potions, and of course ore that you're carrying. No storing in a chest now, come on, it's Iron Man. Investing in stamina will increase your carry weight by five every level, I'm assuming that you've made a backpack to help as well because you're going to need it. I'll touch on the rest later. We've unlocked the true phase three and it's where this playthrough really starts to open up. Load up as best you can and prepare to make way east. You're not gonna do that much, right? Uh, whoa, 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 he's got ice spike. Hold on, that's a problem. That's not something I'm prepared for right now. Okay, relax, 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 relax. Take it fucking easy. Okay, this rock joint actually blows. Jesus, dude, come on, relax. Okay, that's a bandit outlaw. Decent damage. No stumble. No stumble again? What are we, what are we doing here? Okay, that's all right. At least her skull is empty now. Oh, man, I think we have to fall back to white run again. I don't want to, but I think it's necessary. power attack now you're compromised one two oh my god I, oh that's a chief that's a power attack one two stumble one two stumble one two stumble i told you all we're not messing around not messing around no goofballing no no uh uh um dodge outlaw okay outlaw does decent damage nice try Psych. Just kidding. Nice shot, loser. I'm coming to kill you too. Woo! I'm in good form. Let's go. Yes, we got the blacksmith's pole. Mm. A new hand touches the beacon. <laughs> oh, that's so scary. Y'all think I can make that jump? No, I'm an adult. Might as well get, okay, ooh. Might as well get risky, right? Nothing earned, nothing gained. No pressure, no diamonds. Their power attacks are pretty slow, so we can avoid those if we need to. Oh, shit. Okay, they do hit hard. There we go, one down. Oh, he's fighting something else. No, why'd you have to kill the goat, dude? Really? Fight me. He's helpless. You killed the goat? 
Don't give me the look. Don't give me the look like it's an accident, you motherfucker. <laughs> he's oh, and he's doing the spin just to make fun. Okay, I can spin too. Holy sh no, Mr. Goat! No, Mr. Goat, don't do it! Run, <laughs> Mr. Goat, we gotta go. Ah, oh, fuck this thing, man. Get off me. Ah, finally, bait. Go get him. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. We appreciate your sacri- Fuck you. Does anybody in here watch Succession? Did you teleport ahead of me? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Okay, wait, maybe he's nice. Listen, man. <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna calmly walk past. No, I took two steps. <laughs> he smelled my fear. Yes, we're gonna fight the bear. <laughs> no, I will not. I'm leaving. Okay, this is a problem. I forgot that I waited throughout the night, so there's a lot of negative effects from that. Okay, we have some stamina potions, so we'll be able to turn and sprint away. But I am gonna turn and burn. That's a dumb idea. Oh my god, there's two of them! Fuck, 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 fuck! No, 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 no! Don't do it to me! No, stop, stop, stop it! Stop, it's not happening. Um, okay, I can get out of this. So we have unrelenting force. We can use that. The trees are gonna confuse their pathing a little bit if we're able to get into the trees. I'm completely fucked. I'm out of stamina. Why did I sprint into an open field? I put myself at risk turning around to shout at them. I think it's kind of necessary. I need the trees. Come on, trees. Rocks. Oh. There we go. Okay, I need a second. I need a second. I need a second. I was not ready for this. I like how they immediately just change targets and it's blood feud with this wolf down here. <laughs> poor buddy. Look at him. Oh, this poor family of wolves. Oh, what are you guys teaming up to wait this out? <laughs> That's bullshit. Uh, I can't wait to kill this fucker. Get down here. I'm going to rip you apart. They're actually staking it out like it's a buddy cop movie. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I cannot believe we got out of that. Start. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Alas. Okay, first off, Brynjolf, I'm still 3,000 gold short of my goal. And if any of my playthroughs have been lawful, it's been this one. All right, so relax. I'm still a ways away from both my smithing and money goals. Made a bit harder as well when paying 100 gold to cure diseases as well as when staying at hotels. We made that change on this run because it felt a bit more balanced and put some emphasis on needing to loot gold. Gotta say, I did love this change. If you want some gainful employment while in Riften, the Thieves Guild, they're not a bad option. You can even pick up a cute little friend on your way to join up with your new employer. Okay, come on out, Scritch. Hi, buddy. Hey, what happens if Scritch steps on a bear trap? Can Scritch die? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, okay, maybe that's karma. I deserve that. I deserve that. I'm sorry, Scritch. So off I went with my new job, only to completely fail my first assignment somehow and get chased out of town by the cops. You can't scare me with your tough talk. I'm not paying you people a single coin. Okay, well, if tough talk won't work, then what if I grab this inanimate object over here? Wait, wait, wait. No, How did the hell did you see that? Scritch! You can't tell them about me. Okay, wait, we gotta finish the dialogue quick. Not Lady Debella. No, please. I can't lose her. That's right. I get the message. With your Here, blood. No! Okay, I gotta get out of town. We gotta go. Uh, Scritch, are you able to keep up? You gotta keep pace, buddy. We gotta go. Oh, uh, this was supposed to be a peaceful adventure in Riften. Short stop. We'll have some fun. Maybe complete a quest. We'll have a good time. Nope. Now I have to skip town. Sorry, Brynjolf. <laughs> Maybe I can help out the Thieves Guild later. Okay, there's no way they shoot me underwater. Joke's on you, officers. I invested in incredibly expensive water breathing. You mind explaining to me what the hell that was all about? I was doing fine. We had the statue. I was in the clear. But no, you had to pipe up. You were supposed to be upstairs laying turds on all the beds, playing a little prank. We take the statue, we threaten them, we get out nice and easy. But no, now we're fucked. Now everyone in town hates us. You better hope we, know we don't run into anything insane out here, Scratch. There's an orc stronghold over here, so maybe we can go make some friends. That's what I need to do. I need to find a nice orc stronghold and go hang out with my people for a bit. The orc stronghold is under attack by a giant! My people! Oh my god, I gotta save them. This is a nightmare, they're already dead. Holy f**k, holy f**k, holy f**k, why? Go, 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 go! Man, this guy's got wheels too. Do I have any stamina potions? I don't. Please get your sprint back. I swear to God, if the run ends here, run. Do not, do not get behind the wall, go. He can, can he get in here? Okay, he can get in here. 
He can get in here. I have to save the stronghold. I must. Oh, Jesus, he massacred them. Everyone is gone. <gasps> are the elders hiding out inside? Please tell me the elders are okay. Come on, girls. You got this. Die, invader. Keep it up, keep it up. That's right, stare me in the face. What are you gonna do about it, punk? No, oh my God, I just killed her. No, 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 she's hitting me now. Why did I do that? The shout went through him and took her out. Now I'm a traitor to my own kind. And the ice spikes are gonna slow me down a ton. Potato soup gives me warmth, right? No, hot cabbage soup. We invested in this earlier. Remember, we made the hot cabbage soup so we could get extra warmth in an emergency. Whoa, hold on, that's, that's really good. Let's say I'm in the middle of a fight and I am getting, you know, absolutely just pelted with cold damage. In a pinch, that could save the entire run. She's shooting at me. Why are you, I'm on your side. There is a giant in your fucking base and you shoot at me. Right, oh, great. What's that one thing uh, Arthur Morgan says in Red Dead? Hey, mister. No, no, uh, not quite the one I'm thinking of. We got lawmen in three different states after us. Right, there you go, that's the one. I surrender, I surrender. Ta you can take the corundum from me. I'm not very happy about it, but take it. After I served a brief sentence for my statue theft, I did the next quest for the Thieves Guild, and miraculously, I told you not to burn more than three of the hives. You can forget your cut. Oh my god, why? What, dude? Come on, if anything, I deserve extra credit! Thieving just isn't my thing, but at least exploring a new portion of the map gave me plenty of... <laughs> interesting experiences. I went back to my stomping grounds of Whiterun to just relax a little bit, take a load off, manage my inventory, grind out some skills, kill a bounty or two, and then I encountered one of the weirdest things in my 15 years of playing Bethesda games. Two down? Where's the third? Scritch, Scritch, you're not involved in the fight. Yeah, see, you see what happens, Scritch, when you get involved? The enemy gets confident. Look at that damage. Nearly half health. Also, is this an NPC jumping? Show of hands. How many people have ever seen a Skyrim NPC jump? Okay, I don't think he was jumping. He, oh my God, he jumped. Oh my God, he actually jumped. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He has the ability to jump. This isn't fair. Oh my God, he, he just did it. I've never seen it happen. This actually creeped me out. Like for a tiny split second there, it felt like he heard me not believing his true power, gained sentience and jumped. That's a jump, not a fall. Am I crazy? Transition. Don't be an ice wraith. It's an ice wraith. It's a fucking ice wraith. Inching closer to level 50 smithing and the advanced armor's perk I covet so much, I moved north to Dawnstar to hollow out the quicksilver mine they have in town. I do not recommend walking there. The cold is scary. Absolutely cannot fight one of them right now. Oh. This is bad. NPC, right up ahead. Save me, sir, please. Afflicted refugee? Oh, it is. Yes, please, go. Use your vomit attack. Save our lives, we gotta go. I think a spider just spit at me. Oh man, don't do that ever. You're running away, right? You're not hostile. You wanna talk? We can talk about it. Come on, I'm sure Dawnstar's great. When you get to town, hit the Quicksilver Mine for your goals, hit the Iron Mine for XP. A boat from Dawnstar to Windhelm, and I'm just north of the real reason I chose to play as an orc. You see, orc players get immediate access to orc stronghold mines without having to complete a quest. A wildly underrated passive bonus, especially for a challenge run, because this orc stronghold is an ebony mine. By the code of Malakath, you must pay blood price for your crimes. Oh my fucking Jesus, you've gotta be kidding me. You're railing me right now. 10, what, a thousand? Yatul, you know me. I wouldn't murder someone. What impression have I ever given you that I would murder? This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Huh. Huh. A third of my wealth, it's gone. My net worth isn't too happy, but I've got all the ingredients I need to craft my dream set of armor, and I'm trained up to a decent level. I think around 14 or 15 at this point. So off to Falkreath I go to become Thane and raise the money I need to push towards my final goal. You're going to have the men around here wrapped around your finger in no time. Yeah, let's survive first, and then we can worry about the men of this town. All right, sir, 
I got your letter. I know it took me a while to get here, but I promise I'm all business. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Now we'll see if the stories about you are true. Oh my god, he's a regular bandit. I thought he was going to be a bandit chief. Oh no, it's a joke. That's right, I overprepared and trivialized my own challenge. You deserve a reward for your service. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falk Reef Hold. Wait, that was it? It was that easy? Oh, hell yeah. Come and see me again sometime. We're actually there. We can have the discussion now. We just need to raise 2,000 gold. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Bandit thug? Okay, we gotta be careful. This is gonna hit me. Oh, it missed. Oh my gosh, it missed. There we go. We got to stumble. Two. See ya. There's the chief. You are right. It's a pretty confined space. That's an orcish axe as well, and it's enchanted. Shit. Okay, well, we're going to game plan just a little bit. Get me out of here. I got to think through it. I don't care if it's an inaccurate translation. Repetitio ad mater et filiorum. That decision just saved the entire run. In a split second, we noticed a few things. Chief, two-handed weapon, orcish, enchanted. I'm still running steel gear, so I'm completely outclassed here unless I play flawlessly. Look at the damage his henchman dealt on a basic attack with a steel weapon. What do you think an enchanted power attack with a higher tier weapon does to me? It probably puts me in the kill zone that we talked about earlier. My chat kindly reminded me to sleep and get my Berserker Rage ability back. Reminder, this halves enemy damage and doubles mine. Time to yeah. Boom. Boom, basic attack, nearly 25% of my health gone. I can almost guarantee you that if we didn't take a quick second to think this one through, I'd be in the kill zone with a quarter of a second to save myself. Okay, <laughs> okay, never mind. he saw us right away and I missed with my shout. He's gonna hit a second attack right here. Oh my God, really? He's already hitting a power attack? Dude, you gotta relax. There we go, now we gotta stumble. Stumble, keep stumbling. Keep falling back. He's gonna hit another power attack, that's okay. Let's let him hit it. We'll heal back up. Stumble, bitch. Stumble, bitch. What's up? My cave. Back off. I'm done. I'm tired of this. Two-handed demon, my ass. Oh, that was really close. I'm shaking. I'm actually shaking. That was really, really close. Please excuse my very loud excitement. I was incredibly afraid of losing this run the same way we lost the previous two. But to keep pressing forward towards my final goal, I took on one final quest before I would allow myself to play it safe for the rest of the run and for once on this channel, hopefully successfully completing a challenge. I misplaced my journal in a cave I was exploring. Let's not die. Let's not be stupid, right? We can be smart. Oh, there's ore. Oh, I'm already glad we came in here. I don't care about anything. Ah, oh, God damn it, Scritch. We've talked about this. Stop. No, enough. Don't give me the star. You give me that look. It's kind of endearing in a way. Okay, all right, fine. Okay, I was not ready to fight the ethereal. Let's just be careful. Keep an eye on our health. If we take damage, we'll make sure to pause it. All right, easy. Not bad. How do you execute a ghost? <laughs> that just feels wrong. He's already dead. You don't have to make it worse for him. Oh, this place is so cramped. Giant blue light. This is gonna be a big battle, isn't it? This is not gonna be easy. This is like some final boss shit. Uh, I don't know what he just cast, but I think that did quite a bit of damage. Okay, we got him in a good stumble loop there, but we are taking a lot of constant damage being close to him. Like, oh my God, I think I'm just taking damage by being near him. How many potions do I have? Health potions, seven, 11, 19. Okay, I'm a bit nervous right now, I'm not gonna lie. I have to keep my distance for a bit. What just happened? Now he splits into four characters. Holy shit, this is actually gonna be the end of the run. I don't know if I can get through this fight. Okay, he split into four separate versions of himself. Can we fight them all at one time? Okay, one's dead. Just keep dodging. Move slowly between them. We gotta take out this next target. I am shaking. Get him to stumble. Hit, hit, 
Stumble, no stumble. All right, two down. All right, now the real one should come back. Stumble, this is our best opportunity. We just gotta keep hitting him with this move. Vegetable suit might save us, come on. Come on, keep the stamina up. Come on, come on now, keep pushing, keep pushing. We almost got him. One, two, power, come on. Oh my God, please tell me that's it. Are we out? Oh, thank Christ we're out. <laughs> oh man. I've played a lot of Skyrim in the last three years, and I know it's not a competitive game and it's not about sweating, but damn. That fight was by far the most exhilarating five minutes of Skyrim I have ever played in my life, so you bet your ass I took the next couple of hours easy. After almost 12 hours on this character and a little over 20 hours in total with this challenge, so satisfying to see all this time we spent collecting random ores, the ebony ore, the quicksilver, we've held it in our inventory, making all the steel ingots, and we finally can make Nordic carved armor, Nordic carved boots, gauntlets, helmet. We got the full set and we'll make the sword. Oh my gosh. Well, the full entire set, we got everything. My armor total shot up from 150 all the way to 255, and I get to walk around wearing my favorite set in the entire game. It's about the fashion more than the stats for me. Don't worry, I did get to enjoy this giant leap in power for a bit as I wandered about collecting the last bits of gold I needed to finish what we came here for. Sid Gear can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helvert and I. Nenya, shut up. Is the land still available or not? Yes, it's a fine property. I'll take it. 5,000 gold. You won't regret it. There's a lot that I didn't cover in this challenge, a lot of questions you might have or disagreements with my strategy and that is completely okay. The beauty of giant sandbox games is that there's multiple answers to every question posed. And my video today, for better or worse, is just one of them. Well, let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Oh look, it's all coming together. Scritch, are you ready for your new home? Little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind. Let's look at it coming together now. That is a home. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. We finally get to go inside and look at our house. We're together. I love it. It's perfect. Did they know when they were recording this song that they just made the best song in rock star history? Let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. 